Are you ready to kiss? Yeah! Josh from Guillotine Games. And of course, Bam Gallery from the PS3. Leader of the Get You Force. Bad Boy Reed. <laughs> it is, of course, episode 1717 of Cut of Rant. Don't know what we do. We talk about gaming, music, you know, shit that's on, and any shit that crosses our path. Why don't we get into it? All right, before we start, I just want to ask Super Bowl picks. Go ahead. Who do I got? Uh, Broncos. Yeah, Broncos. Good. We all have a. We all agree on something for the first time. Yeah. All right. So kicking yes. off. Wait. Go ahead. I mean, it's clear who's gonna win. But the smoke to see out of the All right. But the 49ers. Uh, 49ers was going to lose that game. Everybody knew that. All right, but kicking off the show, we have a lot of Nintendo news. We don't know if it's bad or not. Well, some of it's bad, but then towards the end, it gets good. For Just to, just to settle the score, there are no mobile plans for Nintendo. They're not going to make any mobile games anytime soon. So, I mean, they can't even make any games for the Wii U, so I don't know why everybody thought they were making mobile games. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, I, I guess I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, I don't. They, Nintendo needs to make money to recruit that Wii U roster, but I recently found out that they got $15 to play with. $15 billion, excuse me, to play with, so. Well, that's more but than enough, don't you think? I really hate, <laughs> I really hate Nintendo for some of the stupid shit that they've done. I mean, I didn't think that. Well, go ahead. I say who got next. No, I'm just saying, I didn't think that they were going to make any mobile games. I mean, what's the point? Like, make some games for your system that 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 that's not selling good at all. Like, that, and that's the reason it's not selling. They have no games, so that's why nobody's buying it. Yeah, that's true. All right, continuing with the Wii U news. Well, not necessarily Wii U, but Nintendo. They're, they're thinking about merging and, uh, you know, merging with different developers to get more games on their system. So how you feel about that? It might work. Oh, I think that's a good idea. Right, you know. They're gonna merge so they can make some more money, they get some more they get some more fan base to into the you know, into people loving Nintendo or whatever, so I think that's a good idea. That's the best thing for them to do so they can get some more games on their system. But there has been rumors that they might just completely, uh, you know, jump ship on the Wii U and make another system. I heard about that. I, I, I guess they might as well jump ship for the Wii U because that shit did. I mean, it's underpowered. EA has clearly stated that they don't want to even make games for the Wii U anymore because of the fact that it's underpowered and it's hard to develop for. I mean... I hope they make a new system. I hope they come out with some new games. The merger would be good. Look at Square Enix when um when Square had merged with Enix and they became Square Enix. They they brought up uh Idol Smash Hall and made Tomb Raider. So a merger could be best. Yeah, and because of the Wii U, their profits fell thirty percent. See that? That's a large margin. I'd be pissed if I was a shareholder. Iwata got to take a fifty percent pay cut. Damn. <laughs> hey, and check this: his other employees have to take a twenty percent to thirty percent pay cut. Oh, nah, we've been that bitch fist fighting. It's all his fault, man. He should be the only one that's taking a pay cut. You ought to just—he yeah. just don't know how to let go of the past. Yeah. Oh well. But why well, am Yamato? Fuck him up. You said what? I say you ought to am Yamato. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they have they have some games coming out this year. How you feel about that? Are, are they new original IPs? I mean, I can read them to you. 
All right, so 14 Wii games. I think I wrote all of them down. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, F1 Race Stars, Super Smash Bros, Monster Hunter, Frontier, uh, Lego Movie, Watch Dogs, Donkey Kong, Tropical Freeze, Hyrule Warrior, Mario Kart 8, Bayonetta, Child Light, and The Hobbit. Is that a good lineup for them, or? You think they just reaching? Yeah, they might be reaching a little bit. I mean, I can care less about Lego. I stopped playing that since um, uh, Star Wars. Uh, Mario Kart 8 might be good. Yeah, the Hobbit, yeah, whatever about that. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Definitely. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I don't know why they're making that game. And Monster Hunter, I can care less. Are you sure you don't know? No, I mean movie games really don't do good, and we all know that. Yeah, I mean, but again, it's Spider Man. Uh, yeah, I liked it. The first one, I liked it. You liked the Amazing Spider Man, the first one? Yeah, the first one. It was good. Yeah, you think Nintendo might? I, I think that's actually coming off of PS3 and Xbox too. I'm not sure. It is. Oh well, we'll see. I'll probably still check it out just to talk about it anyway. I mean, but uh, there was only like to me there was only one good movie license game, and that was Spider Man movie game two. Mm. That shit was dope. What was that on PS2? That was the first. That was the first. That was like the PS2 Xbox. Yeah, it came out for the PS2, Xbox, and the GameCube. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. All right, any last words for Nintendo? Because this might be their funeral or it might be their awakening. We just don't know yet. I hope, I, to be honest, as much as I've talked shit about Nintendo, I hope it's their awakening. Maybe they'll wake the fuck up and realize that this weird shit is dead. Yeah, and, and not having any uh, like partners to make games with you, man. That's just, that's not good. That's not good for business. Mm-hmm. Tari, what's your thoughts? My thoughts. Mm. On Nintendo's uh, new decisions. Hopefully, uh, it'll be good for them. Damn, man, you have no enthusiasm at all. I don't, I don't like Nintendo. <laughs> Alright, well, moving on to something that you might actually like. Have it, Has anybody heard of Basement Crawl? Yeah. It's a uh, PS4 exclusive. Fortunately, yeah. we got the money on the day that it was supposed to came out. Yeah, they, and they just up. They say that they might have some new opportunities for it. That's why they delayed it on the day it was supposed to come out. Tyreek, I know you're mad. Yeah, it looks like a nice game. How you feel about it, Jonathan? Uh, uh, I really... I play PS3 games, but I don't play them like that. So, a delay for me, it ain't hurt. I ain't quite heard about it like Tyreek is. Because, you know, PS4... <laughs> PS4 Ain't know how to mess up a wet dream. It don't hurt me when an Xbox game don't come out. It don't hurt me when no PlayStation game come out. Because, you know, I'm all about that master race. Shout out to every nigga with a PC. <laughs> well, when I saw it, I was like, what the hell is Basement Crawl? I was like, well, it's a game that was supposed to come out today. Might as well write it down. <laughs> but anyway, if you're expecting to play Basement Crawl, it should be available by the end of March. All right, moving on. I think we got some good news. Maybe good, maybe bad. Elder Scrolls Online will not require P- PlayStation Plus. Hallelujah. They say that, um, that it, you would have to, on Xbox One, you would have to have Xbox Live Gold. And you still have to pay for the subscription. Yeah. On PS4, they said that, we, you know, we already paid too much. So, you know, it's just going to, you know, not, as, not let us pay for, you know, playing some stuff. All you gotta do is play that um, monthly subscription fee. How you feel about it? That is awesome. Because Xbox. Fuck you, Xbox. Hey, they don't have a three month pass anymore, do they? They do. Hey, tell me why Gerald went and bought a $25 like Microsoft point card. So he can buy a, a subscription card 
for the Xbox, <laughs> and they didn't have it online, so he wasted his money, so he couldn't buy anything. <laughs> he was so he was so pissed. He texted me, he's like, "Man, I'm done with Microsoft." And then he was like, "Man, I'm just gonna get a PlayStation 4." I was like, "You got to pay for online there too." He was like, "Oh shit, well I might as well just get a PS3 then." <laughs> it, she, <laughs> Yeah, it is. They had like 42 big games for this year. I didn't write them down, though. Yeah. So, all right. Well, enough with Elder Scrolls. Moving on. Xbox One patch is expected to improve graphics. How you feel about that? I say it's about damn time. I mean, I don't understand why they why they should uh, patch it. I mean, this should have been something that they already did when the system was, you know, being developed. Microsoft is retarded. I want you to realize that they like money, but they don't like to work. I want to say work hard for it. They don't like to put forth that effort to their work. Uh, they don't get money. That's what it was about. They knew they could have did. They could have competed with uh, Sony from day one with the uh, graphics comparison thing. But the reason that they didn't, uh, yeah, the reason they didn't do it was because they knew that they could fix it with a patch. So they're just like, you know what? Why don't we sell the uh, system as broken as it is, then patch it later? But, I mean, we can. I mean, but tell me why, like, uh, most of the power was going towards the Connect because it had ten percent power reserve for the Connect, and they had to remove eight to make the um, graphics better. Uh, that's because the Connect spies on you when you sleep and you masturbate. <laughs> The government needs to know when you're sleeping and when you're masturbating. Because apparently terrorists play video games too. Yeah, and obviously tapping your phone ain't enough no more. Yeah. But I mean, the Kinect was already a failure since the 360. It's a failure now. I don't know why they had all this power reserved for it. Is is a PlayStation camera, is that even as good as a Kinect? Hell no. Nah. No. So they both suck. They I think oh, see, somebody giving Microsoft some praise, ain't it? I like, I like the connector. It's, it's cool. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I feel you. I hate the connect. <laughs> Only thing I'll play the connect for is uh, Dan Central. That's it. Yay! I'm just saying, man. It seems like that's the only game that that'll register your moves on it. Because the Sonic game was terrible. Oh my god. What, what was it called? Sonic Free Riders? Yeah. That game was horrible. Alright, anybody have some more, more thoughts on Microsoft? Uh. It's really my, uh my final thought is Microsoft fix your shit. Please. We beg of you. Please. This is this this is a deciding factor if I will buy an Xbox One it is on the reviews from from the time from this time till I get some money. Then I make my, then I make my decision. All right, moving on. If you have Battlefield Four and you were extremely disappointed with all the bugs and glitches, you might be happy for the month of February for Battlefield Appreciation Month. How you feel about it? What the fuck do I gotta be happy about? That's a broken piece of ass. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even played Battlefield 4 yet, so I don't really know how to feel. I mean, you, yeah. can tell, you can tell EA, I said appreciate these nuts. I think it's full of shit. <laughs> I'm full of shit with that one. I'm some appreciation. Like, what the fuck do I gotta be happy about? The game was ass. You don't think those bronze and gold packs would do you some good? Hell no. Nah. I mean, I think it's... I'm sorry, my bad fell for it. That's how pissed off I was. I'm like, this piece of shit. It, it, it's kind of funny. I understand why the beta was terrible, but the actual game was exactly the same way. Like, it was horrible. The beta wasn't terrible. It was broken. You couldn't even play. I couldn't, I couldn't even get in a server. They never to play with you. We couldn't play. I couldn't even get in a server at all. Yeah. And if I was in a server, everybody was on the same team. I thought it was so fucking stupid. <laughs> Alright, but anyway. If, if, okay. if, fuck, fuck, fuck beta fail for. Come on, let me, let, me, 
let me tell them about Appreciation Month on the shortest month there is, especially on the same month as Black History Month. If you wanted to appreciate the fact that niggas don't know how to play Battlefield 4, uh, don't know a good game, when they see it, that's what that would be about. Yep, that, that's probably exactly what it is. But anyway, if you want to participate in Battlefield 4 Appreciation Month, I recommend you don't. If you if you get a bronze battle pack, it's filled with weapons. Saturday is <laughs> just listen to this shit. Saturdays and Sundays, you get a silver battle pack. Community uh, crates to unlock uh, gold battle packs. Free support, uh, free support bundles for everyone. Starts February first. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, why are you doing this? <laughs> it's forget about Battlefield. It's over. You ruined it. I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even buy the fifth one. Cause I know they're gonna do another. Fuck, fuck EA. Fuck Battlefield. Hopefully, Battlefield Five will be better. I don't. I don't. Know. They're starting to get like Call of Duty with them bullshit. But I mean, I think I think the game is still better than Call of Duty. Yeah, I really that's lost. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I've been better than Call of Duty, but I just feel like. They just didn't want to give Dice the time to finish it. They had yeah. to push it out the door. So we all we understand. We understand that you don't like spending your money or wasting your time. It's okay. It's okay, EA. You do this a lot. <laughs> it's the same with Madden 25, the the so-called uh, innovative game, the football. No, it wasn't. Like it's the same as 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, and 8. Nothing changed. Man. Yeah, it's been the same fucking game for five years. So, I mean, EA know this. We all know they the devil. Yeah. That's messed up in upside eight games. <laughs> I'm man. I know they gonna screw up UFC, and I've been saying this for the past uh, for like the past two months. <laughs> I hope it don't be like NBA Live. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some screenshots for it, and it looks good. But NBA Live looked good too. So, no, you know what I hope is, you know what I hope is not. Uh, you play EA Sports MMA? Yeah. Oh my God, that game was terrible. That was the worst fight. That was EA Sports MMA. Like, you, if you go to GameStop, it's probably nine dollars now. That's the game I was talking about that I wanted, but. Bro, you don't want that back. That game was terrible. <laughs> like, just just think about it. Like, Fight Night compared to that game. Fight Night is like a hundred times better than it. Fight Night is the only sporting game that EA has success with. Yeah, that they actually put the time in. Yeah, that and FIFA. Yeah, FIFA good too. I mean, Madden 09 was good when it first came out on like PS3 and 360. Yeah, because the graphics, like it was just a, a change. Yeah, it was something new. Just like the Connect was good when it first came out, something new, but it wear and tears on you, man. You don't even want it no more. All right, anything else to say about EA and they bullshit Battlefield? Yeah. Fuck Battlefield. Fuck EA. I think this is just an F every, F everybody episode. <laughs> Pretty much. Like screw everything. But. I think the next topic is something that'll cheer everybody up. Your thoughts on the 2014 horror games? <laughs> How's that gonna cheer people up, bro? I think because they all look good to me, like all, they all look good. Yeah, they all look good to me. And I wrote everyone uh, down, and I want all your opinions. Okay, well, I really like um, Aliens Isolation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the first one. That's the first one on my list too, so let's talk about aliens. That one, that looks like it's bringing back the way aliens, alien was supposed to be played. Because there's a difference between alien and aliens. James Cameron directed Alien, while us, uh, uh, Ridley Scott directed Alien. Alien was the shit. <laughs> yeah, aliens didn't have shit on Alien. The game. Well, hopefully, the this game is a bit like the movie. I think it will be because. Awesome. Just yeah. you, a radar, and one uh, zombie—not uh, one zombie, but uh, one alien man. 
and I think I think all these games are starting to do that, like just the the vulner, vulnerability of being out there by yourself with no weapons or anything, and knowing that if you get caught, like you did, like I think that's what scares people now. What you think? Yeah. So, all right, enough of aliens. Moving on to Dying Light. How you feel about that one? Dying what? Dying Light. You know, that, okay, which one is that one? Because I was looking at a, I was looking at all the, all the fourteen games. It's the open world zombie game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have to survive on, you know, like it get. I like it because like when it get nice time, that's when all the zombies go buck wild. You know, like they go ferocious. Yeah, it gets intense, bro. And guess what? They can climb now. Oh, what? Yeah, zombies can in that game can climb now. Pretty much dead. I would free run it and climb it. That shit look. I, I can't wait to play that one. Yeah, that's gonna be good. I think that's- I really like Dead Island. Dead Island was a shit. And even though niggas was hating on Dead Island Red Tide, a good game is still a good game. So shout out to Dead Island Red Tide. Fuck the haters. I didn't care for it. I, I actually liked it. I'm not gonna say it was bad. I just didn't care for it. I barely played it. That's probably why. I like to not play the shit out of it. <laughs> you you like Left 4 Dead, don't you? Yeah. I can see why. I like any zombie game. Fuck the haters. Except uh, Survival Instinct, right? Oh, of course. That shit was ass. That's probably the worst zombie game that's ever come out besides Resident Evil. Uh, what was it? Revelation? 6. Resident Evil 6. Would you even consider that a zombie game? Well, Resident Evil 6? The latest one, you know, the one with all the explosions, like a Michael Bay film. Oh no, that's Call of Duty. Uh, zombies. That's what that was. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Call of Duty done stuff that shit up. You know, it's like Capcom made this. Oh, it's Resident Evil. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> like you would think it was really Call of Duty. It was explosions everywhere. Zombies had guns. It was weird. It was, I didn't like it. It was definitely codified. Yeah. Alright, okay, moving on to the next horror game for 2014. How you feel about the force? That game seems like Slenderman to me. I don't know why. I like that's the vibe I'm getting off of. Is, is that the one with a bunch of cannibals? Yeah, you get the it's like it's basically Minecraft and Slenderman put together. Yeah. Like you can chop down trees and build stuff. I mean it, it looks fun though, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, no fun. Yeah, should be good. But it's like you crash land in this forest, and yeah, you basically got it. You can either um, try and run up, run away from the cannibals or kill them all. Nah, my black ass is running. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's something the black people never do. What the, what the fuck was that? Come on, Kyle, let's check it out. Yeah, it is. yeah, it is true. I've never seen a horror. What? No, I'm not even gonna lie. Yes, I have. It's been a few. Who, who was that? Trey Songs, and what movie was that? Yeah. Texas Chainsaw yeah, uh, Massacre. Yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Didn't he go look? Yeah. <laughs> he ain't black. He ain't black, man. I want to rant. I don't care what the director tell me. It doesn't feel real if I go look to see what that is. Get your white friends to do it. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next horror game. How you feel about routine? Uh, routine? I don't think I've seen that one. Did you see it, Rick? It's the one with you. It's the one with you in the abandoned uh, moon base. Oh no! Oh yeah, when you um, you don't have no. Is that the one with the cell phone? You have the cell phone? No, no, no. It, it's just you. I, I think you just have a light, and you gotta try and like find these notes to see what happens. Yeah. And you got uh, you only get like you don't got no life. You ain't, there's no life pack, health package. And then like if you die, you gotta start all the way over. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yes. Okay. How you feel about those uh those rules, Jonathan? That seems like I don't know if it's gonna be I wouldn't say challenging, but different, yeah. It probably will be challenging. Just know that if you get caught, like you gotta start all the way over. Oh god. Hey, getting caught, okay. I mean that's enough uh, to make you rage quit right there. Yeah, that's like a pain in the ass. Like, you know, all that all that progress means you have to start over. It's like playing like an old game, like a classic game. <laughs> I went over the record. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, right when I first got.
got my PlayStation 2, I didn't have a memory card, so I had to leave it on all night. And I had to put a tile in it so my mom would see it. That's the struggle right there. That was the struggle. <laughs> and then your mom would come in your room, you have to put a towel over it so she can't see the light. Yeah, so she can piss it off? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, enough with uh the routine. How you feel about Evil Within? Oh man, that's uh that's a little bit of the Capcom game with uh no, nah. oh no no. I know you don't want. Yeah, that's the Capcom game uh that Bethesda helped develop, right? I think so. I didn't really write too much down about it. Yeah, I remember seeing it when it had first came out. It looks interesting because the nigga who made Resident Evil said he bringing it back like Jordan packs, the horror. Yeah, that is uh, that's it. Yeah. And so he said he wanted to uh, show everybody, you know, that horror is still horror games are still alive. And ain't nobody gotta fret or worry about what the fuck he gonna be doing. I mean, it seemed cool enough to me. I like it. I play it. I mean all these games on the two thousand fourteen horror list, man, they all look good. I haven't seen one that I said, Oh, this ain't gonna be scary at all. Yeah. Alright, well, how you feel about Among the Sleep? Oh, that shit. I played the, uh, the alpha. That shit is scary as fuck. There's an alpha out? There's an alpha out yeah. on it? There's an alpha for Steam. Oh, man. We we gotta do a video of all of us playing it, because I want to play that one. That shit is scary as hell. You seen that one, Reek? I think so. It's the one where you play as a two-year-old baby. Oh, dang. No, I don't think I've seen that one. That sound, that sound nice, though. Two-year-old baby. <laughs> it is, man. Just imagine it. It's like you walking through the house, man, and all kind of shit happening. Like your imagination gets the best of you. I'm telling you, you gotta play Alpha is out on Steam. That shit is scary as fuck. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna try and record it to see if I can. All right, but anyway, uh, how you feel about Daylight? The mo- this is the game with the um, cell phone. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a good game. All you have is like your cell phone, and the only light that's, that you know that you have is the cell phone light. So you know, that's gonna I, be crazy. That's gonna be real scary. I think all these games they basically pinched off Amnesia, like Outlast. All these games where all you have is a cell phone and a light. That's all you can use, like no weapons or anything. I think that's where they basically getting their ideas from now. Yeah. So I think daylight should be. I think daylight would be good. How you feel about Dread Out? Dread Out is a call. Which one is that one? That's, that sounds familiar. The Asian horror game? Oh, yeah. What um, to, be, to be honest, you know how you said you, you ain't seen nothing that you didn't like? Yeah. That, that would be the one that I didn't like. <laughs> what did you like about it? This seems weird. I don't know. Asian? They don't know horror like Americans know. We can do horror. That should be scary as fuck. Asian people, they do horror. And it's just weird. It's just odd. Yeah. Sucky actors. <laughs> yeah, true. But if you don't know about Dread Out, it's basically it's a, it's a game where these high school students, they go on this field trip and they get stranded. I forgot where they were. And I forgot what they got to do. Like it was that It was pretty uninteresting to me, but I'd still play it. Yeah, but anyway, you just get stranded out there. I forgot what you got to do. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird, man. All right, well, next game is Asylum. You heard me? Asylum? Where you, uh... Uh, okay. I know, I know I saw it. I was looking at it, then I got tired of it, because it's, it's something like Outlast. Yeah, right. basically. Yeah. Well, so all, basically, all you need to know about the game is you get stuck in a psycho asylum, and you gotta find you gotta you just walk around and try to get out. That's basically it. Yeah. So like uh, outline. Basically. Uh, the next one is Framebo. Did, you, did anybody see it? Nah, I didn't see that one. What is that? It's like you playing with this girl who has a mental illness, and she witnessed her parents uh, get yeah. murdered. I, I know what you're I think that one's that one gonna go hard. Okay. Right. <laughs> the next one is Never Ended Nightmare. I saw that one. That shit. I would say super scary, but it is gonna be scary nonetheless. 
and basically the background of it is the developer basically based the game off his own struggles that he faced in his life and I think that's pretty interesting yeah like his own problems <laughs> so like imagine what's been going on through his head really fucked up shit fucked yeah. up fucked up shit more yeah. than likely alright well, because you think basing it off his own life and it's a horror game yeah so is he saying that his life is serious or that he done thought about some fucked up shit in his life I hope he think. I'm hoping just saying that his life is scary and not the stuff that he was thinking about. Yeah. All right, we hit the last two: uh, the banishing of Ethan Carter. Uh, which time is that? To be, oh, I'm to pick that one. To be completely honest, I don't even remember it. <laughs> well, since nobody knows anything about that one. The one I think we all waiting on, Outlast the Whistleblower. <laughs> Outlast the Whistleblower. <laughs> How you feel about it? It sounds like, uh, what is it? Ain't that the DLC for Outlast? I don't know. I don't even think it's out yet. It's something for Outlast. That's the only thing I remember about it. The whistleblower. I think that's like the weirdest title ever. <laughs> All right, ending the horror list. Moving on. Final Fantasy has a 16-bit mode for Final Fantasy 13. Did anybody see the trailer for it? Yeah, I did. That shit was awesome. Takes you back. Yeah, it does. How you feel about it, Reek? Oh, I forgot you don't play Final Fantasy. Nope. Bitch ass. Mm-hmm. Okay. You the only one. Well, no, nah, you're not the only one. I don't think Baron plays it. Uh, shout, shout out to Def Jam Gamer. Put that out there. <laughs> Alright, since nobody plays Final Fantasy, I don't even know why I write, wrote that down. Tariq knows nothing about it. I'm about to say, I play Final Fantasy. I fucking love Final Fantasy. It's the new one that pissed me off. You didn't like 13, did you? I did not. It's the battle system of 13. It's not, it's not the story and not shit like that. I mean, you feel so vulnerable on that one. That's why I like That's this old. new one. Like you gauge when your gauge run low, you just switch to a different um uh, like like a dark mage, like you just switch and then your gauge is all filled up and everything. Yeah. You can guard when you want to. Uh thirteen three like your return? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like you can guard yourself at your own and everything. Yeah. Which I like. Alright, moving on. Uh, oh yeah, Witcher 3. Did anybody see the uh, pictures for it? I did. I, I, I have the Witcher 2 as well. FGM Gamer has the Witcher 2 now. Mm. I, he was the last person to let home. Witcher 2. That game is awesome. It looks great on Xbox. Even better on PC. So I can imagine what CD Projekt Red is going to do. Shout out to Poland for holding the video game nation down. That I had an eye gasm when I looked at it. I was like, man, this game looks beautiful, my nigga. <laughs> it was. It's going to be better than Elder Scrolls. When is it coming out? Uh, they say either sometime in 2014 or early 2015. That's reasonable. I guess they're trying to make sure that it's finished. Yeah. That's always good. Developers take notes. EA. No names. <laughs> I think we down to something that I really feel personal about. The Royal yes. Rumble. The Royal Rumble? <laughs> that disaster? It was terrible. First of all, Daniel Bryan did not even compete in the Royal Rumble, which I thought was really freaking stupid. Now, I want to I want to just say this. Alright, like, if I give you if I give you um Alright, let's say this. If if you wanted a PS4, right? Yeah. All right, and you really wanted this, but I continue to give you a Nintendo Wii U. How would you feel about it? I'd be pissed. I'd be like, Russ, I don't want a Wii U. PS4. I know you got it, so 
this is basically the situation that, that the WWE is going through now. Like, everybody wants Daniel Bryan, but they will not give you Daniel Bryan. Everybody wants him to be champion, but they will not let him be champion. I know. I, don't, I have no idea. Nobody knows, bro. They're stupid. That's what... I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. And then something else that pissed me off during the Royal Rumble, the New Age Outlaws, two 50-year-olds, won the tag team titles. Like... <laughs> They just want these old people to come back, man. These part timers, and they let them win all the championships. Dave Batista won the Royal Rumble. I know somebody else has to be mad besides me about that. Yeah, you know, old niggas run the shit, including red lights and stops. Uh, Batista not old, though. He's like the rock. That's cool. Coming back. But that's bullshit, man. They come back for three months and then just leave. Batista was gone for three years. He quit. And he just gets to come back and get that main event spot at the Royal Rumble? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's all fake, man. <laughs> it is fake, but I'm just saying, like, get while well, if we since we know it's fake, why not give the people what they want? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think they unified the titles too early anyway. Yeah, that and plus that name is stupid as fuck. I hate it. No, nah, they changed it. They changed it. People didn't like it. I'm glad I didn't like it. I was one of those niggas who didn't like it. It was stupid. But you should have heard it, man. When Batista won the Royal Rumble, bro, everybody was in the uh, stadium just booing him. <laughs> and when the cameras man, went off, he was walking around flicking people off and everything. So, Fucked up. People talking about when they do like a John Cena or Randy Orton segment, people just going to stand up and walk out the stadium. <laughs> I do it too, cause I'm sick of seeing them two fight each other. Yeah, me too. Then they broke up the primetime players. I doubt you know who they are. I haven't watched wrestling. God knows how long. I'm sorry. Well, basically, it's two of the funniest black people <laughs> on wrestling right now. They made them break up. Uh oh. One of the one of the only legitimate tag teams. They made them split. That's gay. They don't know what the hell they want to do. Alright, but remember, I wanted everybody to write down their 10 favorite wrestlers. Of course. Alright, so who wants to start? Second. Alright, rules are, we all gonna go, like, when it's time for 10, we all gonna see our 10. When, when it's time for the 9, we all gonna see our 9. And you have to at least list one of your favorite matches for that one person. Alright. Alright, so who's starting off? I guess I will. Shit. Wait, Tariq, didn't you say Cody Rhodes? Yeah, it's Cody Rhodes. Uh oh. Hey, he didn't got better this year. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, that's my name. Alright, what's your favorite match? Shit. Uh, what is match? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. He's a long time ago, though. You just like him. Yeah. Right. Because he's just dashing, right? He's just. Bro, they don't even call him that no more. <laughs> I know they don't. He's just cool, man. He's just being a cool wrestler. Like, at first I love his finisher, the crossroads. Oh my god, that is like the perfect name. <laughs> man, I never, I never understood why you like Cody Rhodes that bad. I guess I do now. <laughs> Alright, but you, awesome. you go ahead, Jonathan. Uh, my favorite wrestler. My number 10 would have to be Big Show. Reasonable. Yeah. Favorite, what's your favorite match? That match where he uh, choked slam JBL through the center of the ring. And then lost. It was, yeah. It was crazy. That Blew match was I was like, damn. And I fucking hate JBL with a passion. I like him. Baby. I like him now. And you, the only reason I like him so much now is because he made me hate him five years ago <laughs> he was that good at his job that he made me really want to spit like just spit in his face that's how yeah. bad, that's how bad I hate him but that's how that's how you know they're good at their job if they can make you hate him like that yeah alright my number 10 is the godfather I don't even think I need to explain why I like the godfather nah you know what's your favorite match the brawl for all when he fought Bart Gunn you, you don't even did you even see that 
I think I did. It was like in, I think it was probably 98, 99. WWE yeah. was doing this boxing thing. <laughs> and Bart Gunn knocked out the Godfather dog. The way he fell was so funny. Nah, I don't even think it was WWE back then. Like, oh, yeah. It was WWF. It was WWF. World Wrestling that's Federation. That's when it was real. Yeah, that's when it was crazy. But you know where they got all that from, right? Where? ECW. Oh. Extreme Championship Wrestling. I know you watched it. You had to. Hell yeah, yeah. Any wrestling, nigga. ECW. I remember when SmackDown and Raw first started. When the brand split? Yeah. Yep, yeah, I remember it too. Just like it was yesterday. Alright, but Tari, what's your number nine? Number nine? Yeah. John Cena. You gay. You gay. <laughs> you gay. <laughs> you like you like retro John Cena or now John Cena? I like both, but retro John Cena is wild. I like I like when he made the United States team. Like when the spinner check like when he made the spinner belt. That's when I really love that's when I like cause he just changed the whole thing. He changed the whole game. He changed it. Yeah, he changed wrestling. I like John Cena, but he's not even on my list though. I like him though a lot. Alright, what's your favorite match though? Um, what was my favorite match? What did he say? I don't know. I really I really I don't know. He just all everybody, so I guess I don't I mean I just like him. I liked it all. You can't think of a match right now. That's fine. Yeah, I can't think of one. All right, what's your number nine, Jonathan? My number nine, it would probably have to be The Undertaker. Yeah, that's a surprise, man. He didn't even make my list. Really? No. Nope. Yeah, really? No, I, think, I think my list really goes into wrestling, not just the people that everybody knows. Oh, no. I've been working with The Undertaker since. Don't nobody know who he I remember when Kane won his mask. And everybody was like, who the fuck is underneath there? Like, that shit was wrong. Uh, like, and then find out those two brothers. That shit blew my mind. Like, that was so bad when I found out they really wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were family for real. Alright, my number nine is Big E Langston. You know who that is? Not for me. You sound like one of them old school cats. No, no, he knew. Uh, yeah, that's probably why you haven't watched in a while, so you probably don't even know who he is. Nah. He, I'm going to get back into that shit. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so we can all know what we talk about now. Uh, yeah. But he's like big black dude. Big, like, he's like a, a strength trainer. Like, big as hell. Favorite match was... Oh, yeah, what was your favorite match, man? Oh, uh, Undertaker? Yeah. Any, any one of his Hell, hell in the Cell matches. No. Yeah, he Russian Mania, he never lost, did he? No. Uh, yeah. Well, a couple of Russian Mania matches. I'm talking about Hell in the Cell. No, he, 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 he's, bro, he undefeated at WrestleMania. I thought he was undefeated at Hell in the Cell. He is. He never lost a Hell in the Cell either. Oh. Uh, shit. So you even like the one when he nearly killed Mick Foley? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Mick Foley is a goon. I'm sorry. Mankind. Mankind, Cactus Jack. Yeah. Taco. Yeah, trill ass nigga. The only one that really? ran, that'll damn near break his neck, get right back up, climb up the cage again, and just to do it one more time and get his teeth stuck in his lip. He was, he is, the greatest wrestler of all time. Alright, what's your number eight, Tariq? Mm. I'm in the puppy Lashley. Big ball headed military dude. Yeah, Bobby Lashley. You got a favorite match or no? Nope, don't have a favorite match. So just awesome. All right, move on. Uh, Jonathan, <laughs> who's your number eight? Oh, that's easy. HBK, Heartbreak Kid. He didn't even make my list. What? Nope. Not hey, wrong with you. All right, this is my, this is my top favorite superstars, not the top best superstars. But still, it's HBK. Like you can't, you can't not, you can't not love this nigga. I like him. I like him a lot, but he was just an asshole. Ah, you crazy? 
<laughs> What's your favorite match, though? Uh, my favorite match, man? Uh-huh. Generation X. Yeah, the Generation X. What the hell? Say Triple X. But yeah, when uh, the Generation X had reunited, and then they had split up, and Triple H and HBK were hitting on each other, uh, and yeah. they had fought all the time. Any one of those matches were the best. Like the street fight and the l lumberjack match and all that. Yeah. I feel you. I like those too. My number eight, of course, is Mick Foley. And I see your number eight. Done with my number, my number one through seven, man. It's pretty high up on the list, so he that's the reason he reached my number eight. Okay, but my favorite match of his was when he fought um, Edge at WrestleMania recently not recently, like five, maybe six years ago. Uh, I think I probably saw that one when Edge speared him and he went through the fire table. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's one of my favorite. And let me just let you guys know the only reason we really doing this is because there wasn't a lot of gaming news or anything out there, so. I just decided to throw this in there. Oh, no, nah, that's cool. You know, I, I told you, I'm getting back into wrestling. You done made me decide to get back into that shit. Just fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, why you gotta be like that? I ain't say that. Bro, didn't you just say F that shit, bro? I heard you. Nah, yeah. Alright, what's your number seven? My number seven. He not even on my list. I can't stand Hulk Hogan. You can't stand him? I like him because of his, uh, his entrance. That's, all, that's the only reason why I like him. Wait, which entrance? His NWO entrance? Hell yeah, yeah. No, not that one. The one with the... Uh, I forgot the song. Like, I used to always sing the song. The NWO entrance. The black and white? No, not the black and white. Oh, not I want to be an American. You gay. I can't believe you like that shit. Yeah, that shit was fun. Bro, sing it. I'm not gonna sing it. I don't know it. I it's, I want to be an American. That's all you gotta sing. I know you know how it go. I forgot. Like I forget. If I listen to it, I'll probably like, I'll, I'll I'll remember it. I should. Oh, I wish you. I wish I would have. I should have put the song here so I could have played it. That's <laughs> <laughs> all. Uh, Favorite match, you know? Wayne for Andre the Giant. Oh hell yeah. Alright, what's your number seven, Jonathan? Oh, you you already said him. It's Edge. That spear, though. Yeah, Edge was a beast. It wasn't nobody fucking with him when he hit that spear. I remember when they first created the creative character. Uh -huh. I, had, I had my character was uh, based off his moveset. It was Edge moveset. That's so I could do the spear. That spear is the shit. Yeah, Edge was a beast. I hated Edge, though, because he was uh, sleeping with Lita. <laughs> and I fucks with the Hardy Boys. Who didn't? You said what? I said who didn't. Yeah, I know. What's your favorite match of his? Uh, when he had uh, one Money in the Bank that one year, and he used it to cheat out uh, Randy Orton out of the title. I love that because he would, whenever he won Money in the Bank, he would always cash it in at the best opportunity, like right after like. Yeah, he was good at that. That shit was crazy. It's funny because people try to do it now and they lose. So I think it's pretty ridiculous that they let it go that far. But anyway, my number seven is the Dudley Boys. And yes, you can pick tag teams. You can't do that. Yes, you can, nigga. Well, you want me to just pick one of them? No, it's okay. All right, well, mine is the Dudley Boys. And my favorite match is any of the ECW matches. Yeah, yeah. Or the no, TLC yeah. match at SummerSlam. You said what? The ECW used to go in. Yeah. Well, what's your number uh, six, Tariq? Um, gee, I should have wrote down my list. <laughs> Look at your phone, dog. You sent it to me. I did send it to you. I could think of it. I could think of it. Who did I like? Who did I like? Triple H. I hope I ain't already. No. Uh, yeah, Triple H. Time to play the game. 
All right, just to move through this faster, we don't even have to say our favorite match anymore. All right. All right, so what's yours? Uh, you know, since it's the big tag team now, let me sw- switch it up for you. It's going to be Eddie Guerrero and uh, Ray Mysterio when they had became tag team, man. So Those you- two little Mexicans. You didn't like man, those two Unstoppable. You didn't like Chavo? Nah. Uh, RIP, RIP. My nigga, uh, Eddie Guerrero. Let's make you rest in peace. Yeah, my number six is Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dig it? Uh, Alright, what's your start? What's your under five? I play the thing all the time, Flair. Rick Flair. That's reasonable. All right, what's yours, Jonathan? I'm number five. Yeah. Uh, big boss man. I hate that nigga. What? I cannot stand the big boss man. You crazy? First of all, it's like he had he had serious lipo, cause dude was pushing over 300 pounds in like the in the in the early 90s when Shawn Michaels was wrestling. He come back in the late nineties, dog. He done lost about 150 pounds. Big boss man was a girl. My number five is Chris Benoit. Really? I know what he did was terrible, but from a wrestling standpoint, nobody was up on his level. Uh, we not even gonna get into that. No murder, no murder talk on cutthroat rants. But who's your number four, Tariq? At number four? Yeah. The Rock. I knew he was going to say something like that. <laughs> What's yours, Jonathan? Oh, this is, this is easy, you know. The man, the myth, the legend, you know. That's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. Bro, he's your number, uh, he's your number five? I mean, your number four? Yeah. Bro, he should be ten times higher on your list. Nah. Alright, mine's just Rob Van Dam. RVD? Yep, you already know. That's mine too. That should which one? Rob Van Dam. No, which number? Um, I thought we were on number two. No, actually we on number three now. Ah, damn it. <laughs> What's your number three? Rob Van Dam, man. All right, what's your I'm not my, my first, so. What's yours? My number three? Yeah. Oh, man. Y'all might hate me for it. Because I already said I'm in the tag team spot. Oh, uh, Eddie. But, yeah, Eddie. I don't blame you. He was fine, like, especially with him and before China started doing porn. I thought they was, like, together forever. For yeah. I was like, yo. She was too muscle bound. <laughs> she was she was a legit bodybuilder, son. Uh, oh, uh, All right, but my number yeah. my number three is the Hardy Boys. Again? No, I didn't say I didn't say them earlier. I said one of my favorite matches had them in it. Oh, but yeah. All right, what's your number two? Stand a nigga now, but I guess. Who's your number two, Jonathan? My number two would have to be uh, Daddy Too Hottie. Yeah, he was hot. That was my nigga. But that little incest he used to do, that shit used to go in. Him and Rakishi and uh, Grandmaster Sexy. Alright, my number two, I think this is the only wrestler I've cried on, and you've said him twice. Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Alright, now we hit that last spot. Well, what's your number ones? <laughs> Dude, right here. Oh, you ain't on me? No, nah, wait on Tariq, nigga.
right, who's yours, Jonathan? Mine? Oh, yeah, Undertaker's a girl, by the way. But mine, you said only, uh, I said it's got to be Hottie, which, uh, or Akishi. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, nah, he was fucking hilarious. Yes, he used to put all for the fat niggas. Like, <laughs> and, uh, shout, out, shout out to the Chucky boys. Man, it's been a while since I done called myself one of them Chucky boys. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my number one is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. He is my favorite wrestler of all time. Just because he didn't care what he said to anybody. Exactly. He's still the home. And that's the bottom line. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, done with all the wrestling talk. Back into the game and news. Uh anybody hear about the Last of Us Two rumor? I don't think it's real. No, nah, it's not. Naughty Dog already said it, they don't plan on doing it anytime soon. I don't know. They might do a uh the Last of Us Two, but I don't know how. They won't they won't themselves into a corner. Oh, no. I mean, I hope there is the last of us too because the game was fucking amazing. I mean, are you talking about they bagged themselves into a corner because of story wise, or yeah, they could they could go uh like Ellie could get older and they could do something with that. I mean, I'm not a writer, so I don't know, but <laughs> there, there's plenty of ways they can go with that. I don't know, but it is a I rumor, think. and Sony already said, and Sony man, Sony said. Sony does not comment on rumor speculation. Sony a bitch. Hey, no, no, because, you know, Tyreek might stab you in the neck with like a sport or some shit. You might want to <laughs> take the tongue. A plastic butter knife. Yeah, some shit like that. Like Big Boy never trust a man with a butter knife? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. we getting into some big numbers here, man. EA Digital Business has grown. All know that they're shitty. They still making some money. They've been pushing Origin like a motherfucker. Yep, they, That's what that be about. They ended the 2013 year with $808 million. Or, 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 or I mean, it, everything. Like, just their digital business. Oh, well, damn. They kicked ass. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, they only declined uh, 8%. And that's it. Yeah, they definitely kicked ass. I'm not going to lie. So they put some numbers up there, even though they garbage. Yeah. Even though they full of shit. Fuck yeah. Right. How you feel about it, Reek? What was it? Oh, this nigga done tuned out on us. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I said, we talking about EA, man. They done made $808 million out of the 2013 year. 200. 200. Man, go to sleep, nigga. <laughs> Sleepy ass. We started out late and everything. That ain't my fault. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, moving on. So we can hurry up and get through this so Tari can go sleepy by. It's past his bedtime. <laughs> gotcha. Has anybody heard of the uh, new project Revan? Uh no. It's basically, it's basically a Kickstarter project. It's a new game, basically. Oh, uh, because uh, of the broken game, everybody want to kickstart their video games now? Basically. But they're not asking for a lot, though. All they're asking is for 18000 The fuck? What kind of game they trying to make? I don't know. But it's like uh, Mega Man meets Metroid. So Mega Man? Yeah, and Metroid combined. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I mean... It seems like those two games are already combined, but whatever. Yeah, I'm about to say, they pretty much play the same. I don't know. They basically... Seems, you know, I looked it up, man. We'll talk about it again next episode. It sounds cool. I like Mega Man. Yeah, I like Metroid, Mega too. Man. I'm the biggest Mega Man fan in the world. Nah, I ain't gonna compete with you. Yeah, you better not, nigga. <laughs> well, all they asking for is $18,000 if you want to... Uh, donate and I'll put a uh, link in the subscription box because I like to see the game and I can't wait for Mighty Number no. 9 yeah true and they say it's only an estimated two years so it shouldn't take long okay. alright so now we basically hit 
We only got two more topics. Thir- uh, 39 Xbox 360 games for 2014. I only wrote down a few. I was not about to write all 39 down. <laughs> but anyway, let me just read off a, co- a few to you. Uh, Watch Dogs, Destiny, DBZ, Battle of Z, Dragon Age, Inquisition, Mad Max, uh, Lord of Fallen, Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zero, and Ninja Gate. So They got a pretty good lineup this year. I was kind of upset that the division might be delayed. You know that rumor speculation. Bro, it is, it is delayed. Week. It's delayed, man. Yeah. Because if you go and look on websites, man, it says to be determined. You know, here's hoping, fingers crossed, because that game looks like it's going to kick ass. But I guess I'll have to play Destiny to hold me over, because Destiny, Destiny seems really cool, too. Though. It's sort of Titanfall. Yeah, I was just about to say, what about Titanfall? Those are probably going to be the two first games that I cop when I get the Xbox One. I'm not sure what I'm going to cop with the PS4, though. Ask Tariq what he going to get. Everything. <laughs> Hopefully it come out this year. Yeah, they, they, they do say early 2015, but this is just a rumor. I'm not sure. All right, speaking of Xbox One, uh, talk about the leaks. Uh, white Xbox, uh, terabyte version of an Xbox, Titanfall version of an Xbox, and Halo 2 anniversary. Man, how you feel about that? Well, you know, I'm a Halo fan boy, so you know, I already got the uh, Halo 1 anniversary edition 10 years going strong. Shout out to Halo. Well, it was 10 years back in like 2011. Goddamn. It's like but, now. Now. but I mean this is just for Halo 2 though I know I can't wait to copy Halo 2 was like the best Halo made by Bungie at least it was the best one it was, it was the longest campaign plus the multiplayer it had some new ideas for multiplayer you could do a wheel and you could play the elite for the first time and Kiko Wani Station on Halo 2 multiplayer was the best to be completely honest, I don't even think I play any campaign for Halo. Like, I just play local multiplayer, not online. I play multiplayer with the four of us in the same house. That was the multiplayer I got down on on the first Halos. Crazy. I mean, I didn't know how to play online, man. I was young. I didn't know how to hook all that up. I know. My uncle came through one day. He was my up to the internet. He was like, try this. Time. And I got good at that shit. And I got hooked. Like, play with all these new people that you don't even know. Yeah, yeah, you do. Pretty much, Xbox Live was a beta. But, uh, thanks for the original OG Xbox. That shit didn't even, it barely worked. That damn, it was hard to find a match. And there was no only chat. But that shit was still fun as fuck. True. Alright, but well, we've, we've hit that 63 minute, 35 seconds still counting mark. No more topics. I think it's about time we start wrapping the show up. Let me get your final statements. All right. You, as you know, uh, as always, follow us on Facebook. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We ain't got there yet. Oh, shit. My, my, well, my final thoughts would probably be, uh, so shout out to Burn Run Podcast, as always. Shout out to App Nana. Cool. Let's get Nana, nigga. And shout out to that Jared Gamer who's becoming a Marine. We support him for the country. Alright, what's your final statement? If you hate and you just need some pussy. Some sweet, sweet sugar walls. What's your uh, <laughs> final statement, Tari? Never shot the <laughs> I'm glad you don't say follow me on Instagram no more. <laughs> Alright, basically mine is basically shout out to Def Jam Gamer. Hope he's Hope he's doing alright. Hope he hasn't passed out yet. And hope he's not wanting to come home because they ain't going to let him. Alright, but anyway, thank you guys for listening to another episode of Cutthroat Rants. If you have fun with us this episode, please like this episode. Like our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, iHeartRadio, and Spreaker.com. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. All of that stuff will be in the description box below. Anybody else got anything else to say? Uh, follow Tom, follow Pam God, Rico, Instagram, at Oh, that's not his name. That's not his name, bro. It's that must be Reek. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that must be Tyreek. That must be Tyreek. T-R-E-E-K. 
and follow me, the leader of the – what fuck? Oh, yeah, the leader of the Ginyu Force. I'm starting to call myself that now. <laughs> yeah, bro, I swear. Bro, they are some of the most funniest people. Bro, come on, the Ginyu Force is hilarious. Anyway, follow me on Instagram, Supreme, Supreme Flugger Butter. This is episode 17. Peace.